this morning, ate breakfast, did some work, uh, ate lunch, and now it's time to go and explore the city. And I think I'm gonna go to the Museum of Sex, just because, why not, you know? So, let's go check that out and see what it's all about. Why am I so weird? We gotta stop. So I heard, well I saw, that there's a moon bounce at this museum, which I'm really pretty stoked about because I love myself a good moon bounce for all of my birthday parties back home. I always get a moon bounce, so I'm excited to see this moon bounce. At a museum of sex? What? Weird. <laughs> So I just finished at the Museum of Sex and now I'm gonna go ahead and go take a walk over to the High Line. If you guys haven't been to the High Line before, you definitely should go. I've been there once and it's gorgeous. It's like an old train track that's like above the city that they've turned into like a green space. So I'm gonna go check that out, maybe grab a cup of coffee, hang out for a bit, and then go back to the hotel and get ready for the YouTube event tonight. By the way, I'm going to a YouTube event tonight. I didn't even tell you guys that. So that's the plan. just here 11 months ago so almost a year ago and I remember when I was here I was with Albert one of my good friends and we came to the High Line and we were walking and my thighs were like rubbing together and it was very painful my feet were hurting I was out of breath I was holding my breath so that way it wouldn't seem like I was out of breath which made me even more out of breath and I was sweaty and I was just completely and totally uncomfortable. And today I've walked back and forth like two times on the High Line. And um, I don't know, I was just thinking about, you know, the last time that I was here and how much harder it was for me to walk it. And, and I didn't enjoy it the last time I was here because I was so focused on the issues that I was having physically but it's just so nice to be able to walk and be present and, you know, just in the moment and not being concerned with, you know, what is hindering me from enjoying the experience and not being self-conscious and just enjoying the walk. So if you guys are like searching for motivation to start your journey, let that be your motivation, you know? Just think about in the future how much easier things are going to be for you, how much more you're going to enjoy doing different things with your friends and family that you wouldn't usually enjoy right now. So, I think I'm done here on the High Line. I'm currently lounging on this nice, like, beach chair, almost. So I think I'm gonna go try and find a market or something and get like some stringed zucchini so I can make some pasta later. And that's the plan. Wait, what? 
So if I were to go back to my hotel, it would have taken me like 20, 30 minutes to walk over there. And then it would have been like 5.30 and time to leave. So I'm already like in the area that the event is at, so I'm just gonna stay here. So I just went and tried some clothes on. Um, now I'm just walking around the Chelsea Market and I'm trying to find a healthy snack. Um, I planned on eating back at the hotel, but it just didn't work out that way. So, um, I'm just gonna walk around here and see what I can find. All right, I got a little side salad. I'm gonna eat that before I go upstairs to the event. I got myself a coffee, which I'm pretty sure I put salt in this instead of sugar. Yep, short. <laughs> I don't know, why would they have salt out by the creamer? Like, that makes no sense. Anyways, I'm gonna drink it anyways because I need this coffee. Every single YouTube event that I go to, YouTube, what are you doing to me? Also, over here, you're always trying to booze me up and make me eat ice cream. I don't appreciate it. Just kidding, I love you. Alright, so I just finished at the YouTube event. It was fun, met a lot of really cool people. Now it's time to call an Uber and <laughs> go back to the hotel and eat something. There was so much good food there like that I wanted to eat, but unfortunately, I mean, they had like some fruit and stuff. I ate like some of that, but man, I'm ready for like meat. I want to eat some meat. I am so hungry. I'm gonna call the Uber, go back to the hotel, eat and crash. So, blah, blah, blah. that's it for this video. But remember guys, you hold the power in your hands to make any changes that you wanna make in your life. I will talk to you guys later, bye.